All ball TV. They scared, but I'm not. AI, you know this, man. You know you wasn't this nice, my brother. Listen, hold on. Do, do you hear the clock when we ask that? That's not a coincidence. I told y'all this is going to start something. Look, look. Yeah. The church clock then went off. He wasn't this nice, man. Let's get this straight. Let's start off with this. Off the top, reverse engineering. You were in the, you were in the Western Conference with Carmelo Anthony. You had the superstar next to you. Mm. It ain't work out this good for you. Mm. But hold on. Mike, no, no, but hold on. What happened to Philly? He went to the championship. Well, we'll, get... We'll, 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 we'll get to that. Okay. I wanted okay. to start at the at the end. Okay. But you were with another superstar. We saw Jalen Brunson with another superstar. Western Conference Finals. Let's not get that twisted. And remember what Luca said about Brunson. Hey, Mark Cuban, I know you kicking yourself in the you-know-what. They said that man, y'all turned that man down three times for a $55 million contract. Mark Cuban, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you, there's no way, there's no way to flip this. So hold on, so hold on, you telling me Shark Tank, I come to you with Jalen Brunson, and I go, hey, Mark, listen, $55 million. Three times. And listen, that might be the worst Shark Tank of all time. <laughs> Big shout out to my Cuban and Shark Tank, man. But come on, bro. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That was that was a guppy tank. That was guppy tank. <laughs> you guppy tank right now. You goldfish tank, uh, Mark Cuban. We got to oh. get it together. This was... And we've seen Jalen Brunson, like, again, because everybody gets confused. We're, we're a big hype machine over here, right? And we hype the, the Frenchman, Frank Lakina, and all these, Kevin Knox, all these guys. But the thing, the thing with, with Brunson is he's legit, bro. He's legit. We've seen him from the start to finish, his presence, his leadership, and all that, the way they get behind him. Um, and just uh, like I said earlier, his post game, the footwork, the way that the other players respond to him is a big deal. The way they talk about him is a big deal. People, players, because fans, we say whatever we want. But when those players and the coaches, yep. they try their best to say nothing disrespectful about the player, I pay attention to that. that si that's a sign of respect, which has an ounce of fear in it. Anybody you respect like that, you fear something about anything with them. And they fear Brunson. They don't want to motivate Brunson any more than he is. This guy is a killer by every means, any means necessary. He, he leaves it all on the floor. And what did I say a couple weeks, uh, a week ago? Brunson, stop whining. You know what he stopped doing? He stopped whining. He apologized to the ref mid-game because he did something like, he got, I think somebody stepped on his foot or he landed on somebody's foot. They finally caught, found, he realized that they called the right call. He turned to the ref and said, yo, my bad. You can see him say, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. He but, knows. No, no, but hold on, hold on. Get Finish your point. Is Brunson better than Allen Iverson? Oh, I'm sorry. Break it yeah, down. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wow. He, he, he's earned this where he's at right now. Better free throw shooter. Um, he's earned every call. And AI, AI isn't isn't as efficient, man. AI isn't as as efficient. Neither one of them are clutch like that. Defensively, I I, I think this is Brunson is a problem. Most is a problem. He's always he's very pesky. Wow. Um, so we can argue really offense. To me, even all the go-to moves Brunson has is crazy. Crazy from the top of the key. Yo, there's highlight. I can send you the highlight reels that he got. His, all his go-to moves. Iverson wasn't that. To me, Iverson played a lot very reactionary. If he practiced, like the whole practice rant, it's ironic. Jalen Brunson looks like he practiced a whole bunch of moves. I just think He's so much more intentional. And, of course, I can't say he's way so much greater than Allen Iverson, man. But for me, it's not pain. It's not a pain-free statement to make on that mission to get to. Man, JB, man, he got it. Well, he got well, it way well, you know, I think, you know, I think a lot of people are scared to make this comparison because Iverson is so much of an icon and just, he's just culture, man. And, we grew up on Iverson. Like, man, everybody wanted to be Iverson.
people wore baggy clothes and got the braids and the tattoos because of Iverson. So this is nowhere near no disrespect to Iverson. But I think the comparison is closer than what people think. And people were scared because, you know, they don't want to hurt players' feelings. Or, you know, some guys you just, it's just almost, you can't fathom somebody being just as good or better. But if we break it down, only thing he has over him is an MVP. And Brunson is on his way getting that. Let me break something down. If we talk in high school, college, it's not even close. We taking Brunson. Now, I give you Iverson, more athletic, fast. Like I said, the way he uh, on defense, being he's pesky as well, closing in the lanes, deflections, things like that. Just a dog. Toughness, heart. But if we talk in playoff performances, playoff appearances, Iverson wasn't in the playoffs every year. He wasn't getting to the conference finals or to the finals every year. And then if we're talking about putting up big numbers, oh, Brunson put up 40, 50, and 60 pieces. So for me, now you go with who do you want as your lead dog? Who's a better leader? Who has better intangibles? Who's more efficient? Who's the better three-point shooter? So, you know, and then when you look at the numbers, yeah, Iverson averaged, what, 33, 34 before. Brunson damn near averaging 30. Could, oh, Iverson, could Iverson do this with three of his starters missing? I don't know. But my opinion, I'm going to go there, y'all. Jalen Brunson is better than Allen Iverson. Is Allen Iverson more exciting? Is he more of a uh, of a figure? I give you that. And that's the part that people never want to separate. They never do. Like I told people, right now, Jalen Brunson is playing better basketball at his position than everybody but maybe Luka. Because of the numbers Luka's putting up, I can't argue that. But if you're talking Curry, Dane, Trey, I know Trey is hurt. Josh Hurt, Drew Holland, you give me any point guard, SGA, Jalen Brunson is the second best point guard in the NBA. I would have him first because he has his team, the third seed, and Luka them is the sixth seed, but you can't argue with Luka putting up damn near 35 and 11 or some craziness like that. Brunson needs to be spoken about a lot more when it comes to great players. What he's doing, if this was on the Lakers, the Clippers, any other team, it would be bonanza. It would be ridiculous. But because it's the Knicks and nobody likes the Knicks but Knicks fans, you can you can put on a YouTube clip and it may go on for two days of former players, current players disrespecting the Knicks. So let's not forget that part. If this was any other team, Lord have mercy. So, listen, man, Brunson right now is the best point guard in the NBA. If you want to take Luka, cool. But like I've been told people, I think he's better than Marbury. I think as a Nick, he's better than Carmelo Anthony. And right now, Jalen Brunson is better than Allen Iverson. I'm saying it. Sorry. Sorry. He's he's already gotten more 40-point games in his Nick career than Carmelo had in his Nick career. That's insane to say. Um... I'm trying to figure out as you're talking, who's better at their position than Brunson is at his position or the best at their position. So Joker is the best center. Is Anthony Davis a four or is Sabonis a four? Because one of those guys is the best four. The best three, that's where I got Luke at. I don't got him as a point guard. I don't understand that, even though it's kind of like Brunson in a way. Um, So that's going to be a tough part with Luke and, and Jalen Brunson as the best point guard if you consider them that. And the best two guard, I'm not sure who the best two guard is. Booker, Jimmy Butler don't even show up until April. I mean, so I mean, maybe. I mean, I, I will put Jalen Brown in there maybe because he's been right. playing some basketball on that team, the number one seed. They playing great ball, so I will probably. It's hard, it, you know. Hey, that's a great point, man. It's like you said, it's hard. We, you know, we was on Devin Booker team and on his side, but I kind of. Eh. So that one we can leave up for grabs, but nobody's playing better basketball at their position. Then Jalen Brunson. Like you said, I give Luca. Aside from Joker, I, mean, I think sorry, I give Joker. That's it. That's it. And if you consider Luca a three, 
that's my only thing because Luca's out of his. He's playing great. He's got a team, his, his team back, and yeah. and he weathered, he weathered his storm as well because they they were missing some players. And they finally got yeah. some they filled up some yeah. holes, but still. So what we can name two or three. So the so, Aaron Fox ain't that. I think I think Sabonis this year is more valuable than the Aaron Fox. And maybe well, the last I, two seasons. Yeah, well, 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 De'Aaron Fox is still a good player. I still got him in my top 10 as far as point guards. Because once again, you know, these guys is... My thing is, I told you, I don't count the play. If you run through eight, you get props from me. Nine, 10, 11 seed, I'm not discussing you. No disrespect. I love Steph Curry. Bruh, horrific season. I don't care what your number's looking like. Steve Kerr now looking like, why we hired you? I'm sorry. So, Brunson... Damn near averaging 30. Look how he has. He's going to get Josh Hart, Deuce McBride, and DiVincenzo a lot of money. And Hartenstein. And Hart, a lot of money. That's the part people don't talk about. Players that get. That's why people can laugh at James Harden all they want. He got Clint Capella a lot of money. <laughs> That's you, a good point. <laughs> come on, man. So, so what Jalen Brunson is doing. Is, is legendary. And when we look at it from all aspects, from that as well as on the court and off the court, just a model citizen, and you have away crowds yelling MVP. Why? Because look how he carries himself. And you, bro, he's doing things you don't, you, you think can't happen at six foot. All ball TV. They scared, but I'm not.